Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Physics Mage. This is a question from J 2011. As you can see, let's try and solve the problem. Which of the following statements is or are correct? So meaning we have to check one by one all these options and see whether it is correct or not. So let's begin with the first one. So as we observe here, if the electric field due to a point charge varies as r power minus 2.5 instead of r power minus 2, then the Gauss law will still be valid or not. So dear students, we know that if the electric field is given by kq by r squared times r cap, if we use this expression, regular expression, by using Gauss law expression which is surface integral of electric field over a closed volume we can get it as q enclosed by epsilon naught meaning what suppose if there is a point charge at any r distance if you consider the field is going to be e value in any direction you can take radially in any direction the field value at r distance is going to be same okay you can randomly take any point it is going to be e value okay so with this by using gauss law can we predict q enclosed or not is our question suppose if you observe directly if i take this dotted line itself as my gaussian surface let's take this one as our gaussian surface okay if this is our gaussian surface gaussian surface okay then by using our logic here we can write it as see at any point you take on the Gaussian surface randomly you choose one point the area vector would be pointing radially outwards this is ds vector from the convention and even the field field at this point at, at that point the field will also be radially outwards see I'm taking this one as radially outwards okay so field and ds are in the same direction so the angle between e and ds are zero so cos zero is one so we can write this expression as e ds closed integration q enclosed by epsilon naught okay now since we know that at r distance anywhere on this gaussian surface the value of e is going to be same right so we can take e outside the integration so we can apply integration only for this ds ds elements and we can try and predict what is this q enclosed so here the value of e from our expression the magnitude we have to take so kq by r squared then integration of all these small small aerial elements gives you 4 pi r squared which is q enclosed by epsilon naught and k value as you are familiar that it is 4 pi epsilon naught and we have q by r squared 4 pi r squared equals q enclosed by epsilon naught then we have 4 pi r squared 4 pi r squared getting cancelled out epsilon naught with cancels with epsilon naught so q enclosed will be equal to q so meaning whatever we are observing here right inside the gaussian surface it is charge q and whatever we predicted using gauss law it is one and the same so meaning by using normal expression we know that gauss law would be 100 percent correct and we have already accepted it and we know that it is correct okay but now we have to take the electric field expression itself is different so i have explained all these things so that you should know like what we are trying to do with respect to this new expression so we'll take the new expression d dash is going to be kq by r power 2.5 so meaning what suppose if we take a charge q at r distance field is same just like in the previous case meaning at r distance radially you go any direction it is going to be e value only e value so suppose if i take my gaussian surface here enclosing this charge enclosing this charge like this randomly i'm just choosing gaussian surface imagine this is sphere okay spherical surface just gaussian surface gaussian surface if i take this as gaussian surface and we know by using this expression also 
at every point on this Gaussian surface, the value of field is going to be E prime only. So E prime, E prime, E prime value everywhere on this Gaussian surface. Now let's try and use Gauss law here. But we know by just looking at this configuration inside the Gaussian surface, charge is Q. So what we are trying to do is we are going to take this new field E dash dotted with ds closed surface integral should be equal to q enclosed by epsilon naught. If this is valid, then we can say Gauss law is valid in the given situation also. Correct? So we will try to predict the charge enclosed by using this new expression. If you are getting the same answer, then Gauss law is valid. Okay? So we will try that. Since you can easily observe here, since even this field vector wise if you express this is magnitude times direction radially outwards at any given point field is going to be radially outwards e dash vector will be radially outwards you take any surface in element it is going to be ds is in the same direction of e dash e dash this one so the angle between them is 0 cos 0 is 1 so we can still write here e dash ds integration equals q enclosed by epsilon naught so here e dash value same at every given point on the Gaussian surface, right? I'll be taking e dash outside integration of ds being equal to q enclosed by epsilon naught. But they have given e dash value magnitude wise it is kq by r power 2.5 and we know that integration of ds is 4 pi r squared because our Gaussian surface radius is r then q enclosed by epsilon naught. This is what we have. So we can now just simplify this by substituting the value of k as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught here. 4 pi r squared by r power 2.5 equals q enclosed by epsilon naught. Solving for q enclosed here, let's, let me just cancel a few things. 4 pi, 4 pi gone. I'm just simplifying this. It is going to be r power 1 by 2 in the denominator. Epsilon naught and epsilon naught cancelled out. So what do we get here? Sorry, I left this point. Charge Q here. So we are going to get here Q enclosed is Q by R power 1 by 2. So obviously we know that inside the Gaussian surface the charge is Q. But here the prediction coming from the Gauss law is Q enclosed is Q by R power 1 by 2. So which is absolutely wrong. Meaning we cannot use Gauss law by using new expression for electric field. So meaning Gauss law becomes invalid for this expression. Okay. So with that we can say our first option, right? If the electric field due to point charge, if it is varying like this, then the Gauss law will will it be still valid? We can say now it is not valid. Okay. Then Gauss law can be used to calculate the field distribution around an electric dipole. We'll check out whether that is correct or not. Second one, if we take positive and negative, dear students, remember Gauss law is useful whenever there is a symmetry in the problem. Okay, so we know that from the positive charge to the negative charge, the field lines would be like this. I'm just drawing few just for visual representation, like this. Suppose if you look at this, we can take the help of Gauss law to predict flux, meaning suppose at any given point, if you want to evaluate field, you can imagine a Gaussian surface which passes through that point. Imagine any closed surface, need not be spherical, any closed surface, so the flux coming from this Gaussian surface is given by Q is the charge enclosed by it by epsilon naught. This is going to be correct. But if you observe, it is given by integration of e dot ds, right? Meaning what? You have to evaluate this e dot ds at every given point on this Gaussian surface. And obviously by looking at this scenario itself, you can say that at every point on the Gaussian surface, the field is not going to be same because there is no symmetry. If there is no symmetry, we can't take e outside the integration, meaning we can predict flux by using Gauss law, but we can't 
use Gauss law to predict field because it is going to be very complicated meaning we first of all don't know the field at any at every point on the Gaussian surface so we can't use Gauss law to predict that so with that we can say our second option is also wrong then let's think of the third one if the electric field between the two point charges is zero somewhere then the sign of the two charge is the same so we'll look at that suppose if we consider there is one charge here q1 another charge q2 if we know that electric field is zero at some point in between them randomly i'm choosing here the field is zero it seems if field is zero then because of the first charge either it is going to be like repulsion correct if you place a test charge here either it is going to be repulsion meaning force due to the first charge would be like this or force due to the, due, due to the first charge is going to be like this meaning if qn is negative charge right if qn is negative charge then test charge will be pulled towards it so it is going to be opposite direction meaning there are two possibilities like that correct suppose if you think of the second charge as positive then force due to it is going to be in this direction f2 suppose if q2 is negative then it is going to attract the test charge it is going to be in this direction okay meaning these are the two possibilities right so whenever field is zero we know that forces are cancelling up meaning we can easily identify here that if field is zero then we can say that if q1 is positive q2 must be positive so that they ripple the test charge such that the net force becomes zero field is zero suppose if q1 is negative even q2 should be negative so that q1 will be attracting the test charge even q2 will be attracting the test charge so the net force can be zero if they cancel each other so meaning their polarity should be same so with that we can say our third option right it is correct then let's think of the fourth one the work done by the external force in moving a unit positive charge from point a to potential point a at potential va to point b at potential vb is vb minus va it seems we'll check about that remember this idea work done by conservative force work done by conservative force is equal to negative of change in potential energy which is negative of final potential energy minus initial potential energy remember this is valid all the time meaning whether the body is moving slowly or not this is correct okay this is always correct always okay meaning sir which forces comes under this one force due to electrostatic attraction or repulsion work done because of the electrostatic force work done because of the spring force work done because of gravitational force all those things comes under this category okay now work done by the applied force sometimes we will write as positive of change in potential energy meaning we will write it as final potential energy minus initial potential energy work done by the applied force is given by this relation and this is correct if and only only if we move the particle slowly we move the particle slowly this is very very important okay if you don't see this slowly it means that you are changing the kinetic energy also okay so work done by the applied force right work done by the applied force that can be written as change in potential energy if and only if we use slowly and also there should not be any dissipation of energy you know usually what happens is change in kinetic energy equals work done by applied force work done by conservative forces like that we'll have now if there are non if there are any other forces we can't write even like this okay if there is no other forces then change in kinetic energy equals work done by applied force plus work done by conservative force if there is no change in kinetic energy meaning if they mention it is moving slowly right then change in kinetic energy would be zero then work done by applied force equals negative of work done by conservative force so which in turn from this idea we'll get to know it is going to be positive change in potential energy so here in this problem 
they have said that work done by the external force in moving unit positive charge from point A which is at potential A to point B potential B we can write it as like Q times potential B final minus potential B so this is plus 1 coulomb so meaning we might think that this appears correct right VB minus VA this appears correct but since they have not mentioned slowly anywhere if they have mentioned slowly if they have mentioned slowly then this would have been correct since they have not mentioned this slowly term right so since they have not mentioned this this is going to be a wrong answer okay so i hope you understood like when to consider this work done by applied force as change in potential energy or not those ideas are very important here so i hope you understood the entire solution if you have any doubts feel free to type that in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible and if you want me to explain any concept separately as a video please put that in the comment section too so that i will come up with the concept video very very soon yes students to fine tune your understanding try solving this problem try solving this problem this is similar to the problem which we just discussed I will upload the solution of this question as my next video so that you can check your answers. Thank you.